Ah, hello and welcome again to another show and tell video. One of my neighbours uh, asked me if I would refurbish his late father's uh, Hercus 9 inch lathe. Uh, this was made in 1956. Now the Hercus is a, uh, a licensed copy of the South Bend uh, 9 inch lathe and it was made here under licence in, in uh, Adelaide, South Australia and it was uh, mainly done for the uh, World War II uh, war effort. You know, it was, it was greatly used for, you know, lots of uh, little shops and things helping out with the, with the war effort. But of course, once the war finished, um, it continued to in, into production as well. From what I can understand, um, his uh, late father used to own a, a petrol station uh, and also he used to do car repairs. So this was actually in, in the back of the workshop, you know, just for odd, doing odd little jobs. Now, when I first saw it, it was it, it was it looked quite a sorry state. But but luckily, it, it was only uh, because the oil and grease, and over the years, it had gathered, gathered so much uh, so much dust on it. Um, the only rust that I encountered was on the um, V bodies. So once it was all stripped down and and, and all the grease and was was cleaned off, um, the bedways were in perfect condition. Um, looked so it's had hardly any use at all because you could actually still see a lot of the original um, machining marks. Unfortunately, the paintwork was in was in a real sorry state. Um, it was it was it was flaking. You know, you, you, it had gone crazed. If you happened to you just 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 touch it lightly, it, it would all, it would just crumble off. So what I decided to do was to uh, strip it right back to uh, to the bare metal again and take it from there. Now I didn't bother to uh, to put filler back on the castings, so, so the, the castings themselves were in, in reasonable condition. Um, so it, it was just primed and and, and uh, uh, just a just a top coat uh, put on. Now the other thing that I did do was to uh, was to bring it up into the 21st century. Now originally when these lathes were made, they never had no they had they had a a guard over the over the um, uh, gears, but not over the the pulleys. So, um, so that was one of the other things that I uh, I tried to well, not tried to do. I I did do. I made covers. Now, some spares are still available in, in in South Australia, but of course I couldn't find anything for the for the guards. So, as I say, I've, I manufactured those and, and 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 fitted those. The other thing that I did was to fit a uh, three-phase motor and a uh, VFD drive on it and also uh, one of these um, Aloris type uh, quick change tool posts so um, that's about all I can say uh, as I say there's, there's it's, it's probably 90% photographs there's, there's one or two little video clips but other than that um, all I can say is uh, hope that you can uh, get something out of it and, and uh, leave me any comments if not so without Oh, any more further chat um, let's get on with the show and uh, watch the pictures enjoy until next time bye
Oh, I keep going then. So we've got to be right in the way, but it's never mind. <laughs> There we are, she lives again to fight another day. Oh, it'll not make it a bit faster. There we are, lay down as far as it goes, that's the slow speed.
the bow with the uh, I'm a bit of the, I'm a bit of, that's all, folks. <laughs>